Three days, three destinations. Pope Francis, the Holy Land tour, his first, starts this Saturday. He's going to Jordan, Israel and the Palestinian territories, and he's bringing an imam and a rabbi with him, friends from his native Argentina. On his interfaith journey, he'll meet heads of state as well as religious leaders. But true to form since the start of his pontificate, he'll ride in a normal car. Palestinian Minister of Tourism Rula Maya says the presence of His Holiness the Pope in Palestine in an unarmored vehicle without any protective glass is, of course, a message to the whole world that Palestine is secure and that the Pope feels safe among Palestinians in Bethlehem. He'll meet them in the streets and at Mass. On Sunday morning, Francis will fly from Amman to the West Bank for Mass in Manger Square, in the traditional birthplace of Christ. Next, a visit to refugee camps Dahaisha, Aida and Beit Jibrin to meet the children. But his presence is also to give solace to Christians in the troubled region, whose decline in numbers has accelerated with the region's problems. This pilgrim says he has traveled 60,000 kilometers through 22 countries to reach Jerusalem. He'll offer Francis a record of his experiences along the way. He says, my foremost hope is that he'll galvanize all Christians to guard their faith and keep their identity and not leave their land here because they're from here, they have their place here. On Monday, Francis will be at the Western Wall and Yad Vashem, Israel's official memorial to the Jewish victims of the Holocaust, and at an Islamic site in Jerusalem. Israel has banned several Jewish right-wing activists from certain areas over security concerns, yet the Vatican has said it's not worried. We have three religions in Jerusalem that have major historical roots here and that we learn to live together here is a very big challenge. So Pope Francis is coming like a father. He'll be received by the Grand Mufti and the two chief rabbis and with the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople celebrate the 50th anniversary of a historic trip to the cradle of Christianity by Pope Paul VI. In Muslim Jordan, which guarantees religious freedom, populations less than 3% Christian, King Abdullah is providing a stadium for mass. Francis here is expected to pay special attention to the refugees who have flooded in from Iraq and Syria.